Hey everyone, I'm Rob Franick. I'm Editor-in-Chief here at the Princeton Review, and today, friends, we are tackling a question that we get all of the time, and that is how to decide when to go to graduate school. And right now, my friends, we are all trying our level best to navigate these uncertain times that we're living in, but you might well be wondering if now, in the middle of a global pandemic, is a good time to apply to graduate school. So, to help you decide if you're going to graduate school is the right choice for you, we're going to tackle four of the biggest questions that you may already be asking yourself. Number one on our list, and it is not surprising, I'm sure, to you that we are hearing this question all the time, what will your program actually look like next fall? Of course, no one actually knows the answer to that question right now. Will it be online? Will it be in person? Will it be some combination of the two? But you'll want to find out a few things to frame how you're thinking right now. A, what is the school doing right now? Is it working out? Can you talk to current uh, students and find out about their experiences? Those are super important questions. B on our list is the program allowing accepted students to defer. If not, and if you think that that's something that you might want to do, then you may want to wait to apply. C, have recent events affected funding availability? And D on our list, have they affected application requirements? For instance, if you would typically need to do a certain amount of shadowing, is that requirement now reduced or waived altogether for the next upcoming school year? And what about exam requirements in general? Folks, those are a lot of questions, but once you've figured out whether the program in the format that it could be in next year would be a good match for you, you'll want to consider other key questions. Now, this is the second big question out of my promise four. Should you go to grad school right out of college or after gaining some work experience? And friends, there isn't a hard and fast answer to this question. You know this. It truly depends on your career goals. Now, for non-academics interested in working in industries like technology and government and pharma and not-for-profit, you may actually have more options and flexibility in how to reach your professional goals than your academic counterparts. I encourage you to look up contact information for and contact um, those folks uh, who are uh, alumni from your own uh, school and of course any friends in the profession itself and find out what the qualifications are for those types of positions. Conduct informal interviews and ask those folks that took time off between college and graduate school if they did how did they spend that time? Remember, friends, talking to people in the roles that you hope to occupy one day is one of the best ways to determine the right time to attend graduate school based on your specific goals. Now, on the other end of the spectrum for academics, if your career goal is to become a professor, you'll want to do your research to find out how many job openings there are in your field during a given year and be sure to find out about the job placement record at the programs that you're considering. Does your particular program have a poor record of placing PhDs into tenure track positions? Do you need to gain work experience or field experience to be a competitive candidate at a program with a better rate of placement? These are questions that you should have answers to before spending precious time and, of course, money applying to programs. That's to say nothing of your investment in the programs themselves. Now, the next big question on my list is, uh, and we get to ask this all the time, you might imagine, should students enroll in graduate school during an economic downturn? Many people do consider applying to graduate school during an economic downturn. It certainly makes sense when faced with a struggling job market or growing unemployment rate or uncertainty about the future in general. Friends, it is a natural thought to consider how to improve your professional prospects. And enrolling in grad school can be an excellent choice for those looking to up-level their employable skills, transition careers altogether, or advance in their current profession. And during uncertain times, it's important also to consider your own unique financial circumstances. Specifically, are you financially prepared to take on the cost for graduate school during a pandemic? Even if you get funding for grad school, there's still the opportunity cost to attend. Can you afford whatever those costs may be for you? Remember, a well-chosen graduate school program can be a great investment in your future, but it can also be a huge financial undertaking, even more so with a struggling economy. Now, 
Well, you will theoretically be able to pay back your loans once you become established professionally. Um, you don't want to leave your post-grad school job prospects to chance. Research what you'll actually be able to do with your degree after graduation and have a realistic understanding of how long it may take to find a job and what your future earnings are likely to be. Now, some fields you'll find will provide solid career prospects after graduation, while other fields will have less career certainty. Be sure to look into your, of course, financial aid options, your merit scholarship op options, pardon me, as well as teaching assistantships. Even now, you should still think about the possibility of going to school part-time while you're holding down a full-time job to cover expenses. All of those things should be considered. Now, my promised fourth and last question that we're getting a ton at at the Princeton Review, uh, we're hearing this a ton at the Princeton Review, how does graduate school fit into your plans to start and or grow a family? Now, obviously, friends, this isn't something that everybody is thinking about, but lots and lots of students that I talk to have this question, so I'm not going to sugarcoat the answer for, for you folks. Balancing graduate school and raising a family is challenging. Grad school students tend to lack two things, money and time, and those are two key resources, obviously, to starting a family, but they can also tend to have a lot more flexibility um, in their schedule, and that turns out to be an exceptional asset to those graduate school students. So unlike traditional nine to five jobs, in school you often have the ability to plan a schedule that works for you and your growing family. And as a graduate school student, you're likely to have inked in commitments that are just gonna take a few hours a week, classes and talks to attend, teaching time and likely office hours as well. The rest of your time is yours to allocate as you see fit. You may have more inked in time, obviously, if you're going to be working in a lab, but on a whole, grad school students tend to have more flexible schedules than full-time members of the workforce. Now in this, in all things, you should absolutely do what feels right for you. So ultimately, the right time to go to graduate school is when you know that you can be a truly successful graduate school student, working towards a career that you aspire to. You'll need to consider your goals and, of course, your financial health carefully, not to mention the new challenges that COVID-19 presents, and prepare yourself for a long and on a truly rewarding journey. Remember, graduate school is a marathon, not a sprint, so make sure that you're mentally, physically, and, of course, financially ready for the marathon of graduate studies. Folks, as always, I'm hoping that you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on college and graduate school admission study tips, twice weekly live streams. Uh, folks, if there are topics that you'd like us to cover here, do leave a comment here for us under this segment here on YouTube, and we'll do our level best to do just that. Again, Rob Franick, signing off for today. Take care.